Hey there, Sheila Amo, your resident it girl and style coach. So first, I want to start off by saying welcome to the 12 Days of Style. As I mentioned, this is a mini promotion that's designed to give you insight and inspire you uh, in terms of your personal style choices. So we're kicking today off by talking about how to transition from office attire to cocktail and party attire. So, as you can see, I am dressed in all black, mostly, and I just finished putting a touch of a red lip on because it is the end of the day and I am ready to party. So, with my all black attire, I'm in flats today, I decided that for cocktail hour, I want to change, I want to put on some heels, so I'm going to do my Mr. Rogers, put some heels on because I feel most comfortable and most sophisticated and dressed when I am in heels. Now, ladies, you have to do what works for you. If you can't wear heels, I get it. Um, if you got to wear shorty heels, um, then that works too. If you want to stay in your flats, have at it. What I would suggest if you are going to stay in your flats is have some flats that have embellishment on them. Anything that's jewel toned, anything that is um, metallic, silver, gold, um, copperish, that works as well. That elevates the outfit. So, as you can see, I'm in all black. I brought along a jacket for me uh, to slip into, and this jacket is white and black, as you can see, it has a bit of a tuxedo theme. So I've gone from basic black to a little bit of a dressier um, in black and white. And you can wear basic black pants. These pants just happen to have a tuxedo stripe. I'm a sucker for anything with a tuxedo motif. And so that is where I am. Um, with this jacket and with this outfit, if I can get it to button. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is to elevate a little more. And to do that, I brought along some chandelier earrings, right? Something that hangs, something that's a little festive. These earrings um, pop because they are silver, gold, they have rhinestones in them. And so you can see I'm putting them on, they're a little long. So again, this brings the outfit up a little bit. Um, I also had a couple of other options. Plain gold, um, again, chandelier earring. And then I have a rhinestone for you, um, which is also a dangly earring. Now, if you want to continue to elevate your look in the way of jewelry, there are a few things you could do. You can add something that is sparkly and light that wrist up. You can add a bold cocktail ring. And I think I'm gonna keep this one on just for the fun of it. And then I've got a couple of other things that you can consider, right? So for all my short haired ladies, um, these little fun headbands I love. Um, I actually like them for long hair ladies too, but as you can see, this is velvet. So anything that has velvet, anything that has a pearl adornment to it, that elevates you a little bit as well. I'll pop this on quickly. It gives me um, a queen, Queen Sheba, Queen Cleopatra vibe going on. Love that. Um, and so, you know, they come in different colors. This one is an all cream. So again, take your pick on that. Um, some other things that you can do to elevate your look. So this is my work bag that I'm carrying every day, but inside my work bag, I've got um, other options. And those options include either a fun feathery clutch that's just gonna hold my phone and my lipstick. Um, and then I've also got another option. Again, this is gold. It's sequined. It elevates my look. 
It allows me to put the big bag away, to look sleek and sophisticated with this smaller bag, but this one is more practical than the tiny little pink bag I had. So that is how you can easily go from, excuse me, let me get myself together, ladies. That's how you can easily go from office attire to cocktail attire. Now, another thing you can do if you don't want to dip into the all black, um, you've got a couple of options. I bought a pair of shoes um, to show you as another option because these have the gold baked into them. So if you see that, um, that's a great way to um, elevate your look instead of being in all black. And then if you wanted to punch it up a little bit more, rather than wearing all black to the office that day, you can wear a jewel tone dress or a black dress um, and then play around with that. So this is a great work appropriate dress, um, gold, beautiful jewel tone, um, and you can add a little bit to that um, in the way of the chandelier earrings, in the way of a clutch bag. You could go with black accessories on this one um, and then add some metallic as well. The other option I have, and this is a little more um, fun, is a bright colored suit. So any suit you can wear into the office, um, a pantsuit, um, and you can easily play that down, but the color alone makes this a great transition from office attire to um, cocktail hour. And again, you can do black accessories with this. You can do natural, like the cognac accessories with this. You could even do navy blue with this hot pink. So that is an option as well. And so when we think about going from day to night, there are a few things you could do that instantly elevate. I came to work today in a neutral lip. I popped this red baby on to automatically um, punch up my look. Also put a couple more coats of mascara on to transition from day to night. Like I said, you can do any sort of cocktail um, rings, statement rings, um, if you wanted to. Um, you could add a statement necklace, but what I would say with that is play with the dimensions because if you have a bold statement necklace, um, you've got to watch where you go with the statement earrings as well. So um, that's what I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning in on the first day of style, uh, the 12 days of style. Sorry about that. Um, thank you so much. Leave me a comment below. Let me know if this was helpful at all. Let me know if there's anything else you want to see um, in the coming days of the 12 Days of Style. And I will do my best to accommodate you. Um, as always, my friends, stay stylish, be polished, um, and be pretty. Take care.